In this whole animation you will learn, how water purification plant works and also discuss the disinfection system. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe for more informative videos. This plant will make the canal, and, lake water drinkable. Let's see how we will make it. This is a raw water tank. In this tank we, can have flood water, canal water, or, lake water. Next, we have a pump. This pump will transfer, raw water into the primary treatment tank. Higher density particles will settle down by gravity within few minutes. But the small size particles, may take a few days. So, in order to settle down, these particles in a, short time, we have to add coagulant into the water. Most commonly used, coagulants are ferric chloride, ferric sulfate and aluminium sulfate etc. In this case, we are adding, aluminium sulfate, as a coagulant. After adding the coagulant, we need to turn on, stirrer in order to mix aluminium sulfate, in the water homogeneously. After some time, turn off the stirrer. When we stop stirrer, particles, will make flocks. And due to the formation of flocks it settles down quickly. Now, we will pump this water, to the next stage. This water goes to the PPF filter. Flow meter shows us, flow rate of water and, gauge tells us pressure of water. This filter is made of, polypropylene fiber. That's why we called it PPF filter. Its structure is like a honeycomb. It removes the sand, silt, dirt, and rust particles. Then this water goes to the GAC filter. GAC is abbreviation of granular activated carbon. Granular activated carbon is made from raw organic materials, such as coconut shells, or coal, that are high in carbon. This filter removes certain chemical, that are dissolved in water, like chlorine, and hydrogen sulfide. Next stage is CTO filter. This filter is also called carbon block filter. There are variety of raw materials, used to make CTO filters. Some of the most common material are bituminous coal, wood, and nutshell. It removes the cloudiness of water, bad taste, and odors, from water. Then the water goes to the electrochemical chamber. This stage treats the germs and bacteria. Let's understand this stage separately. This is a water tank. There are electrodes inserted in the tank. These electrodes are connected to the DC power supply. In order to provide supply to the electrodes, turn on the DC power supply, and adjust sufficient voltage, and current, that kill the germs. When the electrodes are powered, it ionizes the water of the electrochemical chamber, and kill the germs and bacteria. Now, it's time to remove the kill germs and bacteria from the water. For that purposes, we have post filter stage. So, water goes to the post filter. It will remove the germs, and pass the drinkable water. This clean water can be stored in a tank. That's all, about this water purification plant. Thanks for watching this video.